Hey, what's up, everybody? Another commentary for you guys. Right off the jump, we got uh, Little America Candyman. Um, this is the Halloween special, and it dropped November 14th, 2020. First off, I'd just like to say Merry Christmas to everyone, and I hope you all have a good day today. Spend some time with your families and all that good stuff. Watch some cartoons from Little America if you can, you know, you know. But, um, yeah, getting right into it. This episode actually didn't drop on Halloween. It actually dropped about two weeks after Halloween. Um, I didn't have enough time to complete it with uh, the schedule I was working with. So first off, I, right after the Party Pooper episode, I started working on this barbershop episode, which I'm still going to do, but I'm just going to change it around a little bit. But about two weeks into the barbershop episode, I realized I'm not going to have enough time to finish this Halloween one. I'm like, I got to start it now. So I just scrapped it and um, started started this one. And um, yeah, the, the barbershop one's going to be pretty funny. At first, it was going to be about um, Meg Thee Stallion and Tory Lanez. But I was like, eh, it's not even that funny no more. Whatever, screw them. But um, yeah, back when I was a kid, I couldn't celebrate Halloween like, growing up in church and stuff like that, so, it was weird, because they would, the church would always throw these Halloween parties on, at, on Halloween, so it's like, what's the point of <laughs> stopping us from going outside to get some candy so we can be in here, like, it was just really counterintuitive, or if that's the right word, counterproductive or whatever, but, um, yeah, so, that's why I started the uh, episode off when they're in the, in the church, Stuck in there on Halloween <laughs> So that's where that came from And oh I don't know if y'all used to play these games Back in like Back in the day But y'all ever play this game called Bobbing for Apples We used to do that on at the Halloween parties And it is the most disgusting Game I've ever Heard of And I can't believe I actually did it So like what you do if you never heard of it is you st there's, a, there's a bucket full of apples with water in it And you literally Take turns, whoever can bob your head inside the water and get an apple with just your mouth. You can't use your hands. You got to grab an apple with your mouth. And if, if you take the apple out, you, I guess you can keep it. I forgot what, how it works. But, yo, that's disgusting. Like, everybody spit being in that water and shit. Like, they probably, uh, they probably, like, say, like, you get an apple. Ooh, I got one. There's somebody else's teeth marks in it. Like, that shit is trifling, yo. Why did you let us do that back in the day, man? Disgusting. But reverting back to that first scene when they were in Bible study, that teacher that they had was actually a teacher I had back in middle school named Mr. Fusco. And this dude was like, I'm pretty sure he was gay. But like, and back then it was like weird as heck to be gay, you know what I mean? So like, <laughs> it's just real strange. I remember one time he was uh he he was in front of the classroom and he dropped his pencil or something. And when he bent down, <laughs> he had a red thong on. I swear to God, he had a red thong on. And I'm pretty sure he wanted the whole class to know that. It was the most disturbing. To this day, I remember that. That's that's trifling, man. It scarred my brain. So that's where I got him from, and uh, that's why he's all. I got all that sugar in this tank in this uh in this episode, Mr. Fusco. So I put him in here. Um, if you're watching this, Mr. Fusco, you scarred me for life, you bastard. So fuck you. This scene right here, when I just trick or treating in the hood, was always funny because when I was um growing up and stuff, when I used to like. And celebrate Halloween is to to a certain extent. It would always be people like, man, we going out the county to get some candy, man. These people, like in the city, it was just people was just stingy, or you just won't get as much or good candy. Like all the white people out the county would just give you the best quality and the most candy and stuff. So that's where that came from. Right here, you see the little future thought and her mom in there, cool in a dirty ass house. <laughs> Oh, it was funny. I was designing this house right here in the background, and my girl was sitting there, and she was like helping me like uh, design it. No, no, you should have these on the. You should have these over here, and she said I should have some toys on the ground, but I didn't feel like drawing no toys, so I just put beer cans and stuff I already had drawn up, <laughs> and just threw it all over the place. Like eh, whatever, bootleg ass house anyway, right? On a side note, um, so I sent lines out to the person that usually does this, these voices for these characters and I never got them back. So I was just like, you know what? I'm just going to do all the voices in this episode. Like, I don't care. I did all the voices. <laughs> all the women, the crazy guy, Dudley, all of them. Like, I just was like, I ain't got time to sit here and keep trying to pull teeth to get voices. So I was just like, you know what? Whatever. I'll just do them all. So that's why they all sound like kind of janky. But I think I did a pretty decent job. 
What do you guys think? What you guys think? Um, yeah. As far as um, this guy right here, he was based off of just some creepy ass white guy. I don't know. Huh? <laughs> I had an episode way back in the day on this other show I used to make called Catonsville, and uh, this scene kind of came from that where this these kid this kid was like going his way to school. And this guy pulls up and takes him to his house and all types of creepy stuff was happening there. So I was like, you know, I'm just revive that and um make it make it a little America style, you know? And my girl was originally like, Yeah, maybe Dudley should be the only one that goes because black kids ain't gonna get in no van. Like only the white kid will, <laughs> will go into the uh will only you know, get abducted and stuff. Black kid black ain't gonna look on that car. So I had to make it to where as though, like, how is Black getting in the car? Like, how is Trey? Like, how what, what are they going to? And so I figured, hey, if he got Grand Grand Taser, he put Chop Big Ass down <laughs> with the Taser. Shoot, this white guy ain't going to stand a chance. You know what I'm saying? He took down big uh, Young Chop with the Taser. Shoot, that's, that's his, like, that was the ace in the hole. So I pulled the, I uh, made sure Black had his Taser. So that's how he got in the car. So I guess it made sense. Um... This scene right here was pretty fun to make as well because I was, I didn't put the music on it and like all the effects like the lightning and things until the very end of the episode. So at first it seemed a little just not right and just the tone of it, the timing just didn't seem too good. But once I put the music on there, the tint and like, you know, made it darker and everything looked, started coming together. I'm like, yeah, this is badass right here. I like the way this is turning out. It just made it seem more like an episode. And... And it's funny because you notice on like scary movies or scary cartoons and stuff, like <laughs> the lightning is always so convenient. Like whenever something happens, like this, you notice how there's no lightning, no rain, nothing going on in this episode as far as the weather. And as soon he was like, "Have you guys ever heard of the Candyman?" Next thing you know, all of a sudden, all this lightning and shit, like. <laughs> So that was kind of a joke. I don't know if you guys caught on to it as a joke, but it was. It was like every time you need lightning, it <laughs> lightning just comes. Like, it's funny. Oh, this shot right here. Oh, that shot with the highway and the guy driving. I always wanted to draw a shot like that, and I finally did it. I was so happy. And um, you guys might have looked at it, and it was like a quick like three-second shot. But it, to me, I was really proud of it. I was like, I need a highway scene where they're just driving down uh, the road. It, I loved it. It was really satisfying making that shot right there. The scale of it, the depth of it, the perception. I mean, perspective, not perception, but yeah. I like the way that turned out. And right here, um, when he was like, get your filthy paws off of my Deborah. Oh, and he turned around and his head like jerked. The reason he did that is because when I, when I uh, do these audios, when I change the pitch, I have to use this little... Uh, plug-in that's called like seconds to spare and when i change the pitch down for some reason there's always a delay like a lag in it to where though if i say something like go get that tree he'll say go get that tree it'll be like a little jump in it like a little uh, extra line that's not supposed to be there so usually i'll just edit it out but that time i was like you know i'm just leave it in this guy's a creep it'll make it funnier if it's in there and he's just like jerking around his head and shit so that's why he did that Get your filthy paws off of my death, bro. Bro. <laughs> also, back with the, uh, when they were driving in a car and he, he was looking in the mirror, that was my first time ever doing a mirror shot. And I was always intimidated by those because you have to actually animate things twice. You have to animate it the back way and then the front way, whatever way they're looking in the mirror. And um, it was really challenging to do that, actually. That was the first time doing it, but I think it turned out good because... As far as the masking, I had to actually, I couldn't mask anything. I actually had to cut off their heads a certain way so they couldn't move their head too much or it'll come off of the frame, off of the uh, the mirror and it'll just look weird. Like So it, it was just like a little tedious process that I had to go through. Uh, I know y'all guys saw that lightning when they was walking past that uh, <laughs> that barn. That's what I'm talking about. Why is it lightning? Lightning, ning, 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 ning. Well, what's it doing that for? <laughs> but, um... Yeah, uh, that scene when they were walking through the forest just now, like the woods, that was inspired by Scooby-Doo. I was watching Scooby-Doo um, for a while, 
and they had some creepy scenes in there. And there was one where they were walking through the woods. And I was like, man, that shot looks nice. I want to do one like that where there's trees in the foreground passing really quick and in the background they're passing slower. It, makes, it gives you that feeling of you walking through the woods. Then I added the lamp and things. Everything just turned out pretty good in this one. I had a lot of different decent shots that I wanted to implement and I figured like I executed uh, Dudley's eyes right there when they're like cat eyes I got that from Family Guy when Stewie was evil there was like an evil Stewie and his eyes were like that and they creeped me the hell out honestly and I was, I was like man that's kind of cool I won't put that in my show <laughs> so yeah that's why Dudley had his eyes looking like like a cat or something like that it was pretty cool um so that pretty much wraps up Candyman I know I'm probably forgetting some things that I wanted to say, but it's all good, you know. These commentaries are off the hip. I have a little couple notes that I go by, but uh, for the most part, I just kind of improvise and just go off the top. So, yeah, I hope you guys really liked Candyman as much as I did because it was awesome to make it. And it was one of my favorite ones to do to date. Um, I have a lot of dope stuff coming next year. Um, this new episode I'm working on now called King of the Hill will drop in January sometime. And it's going to be my uh, Christmas slash New Year's themed episode with all the snow and all that good stuff. But um, yeah, just be on the lookout for that. Um, subscribe to me on YouTube if you haven't already. It really goes a long way. I appreciate it. I'm almost at 15,000 subscribers. Shout out to all you guys. Um, subscribe on my YouTube. Uh, follow me on Instagram. I'm almost at 50,000 on there. Uh, again, thank you guys so much. I appreciate you guys. It's been a great year. And, um, yeah, be on the lookout for some more content on YouTube because um, I'm going to start dropping more videos for you guys, just different things. So you, I won't be so uh, absent, you know, having you guys scrounging for more. Oh, no, I need more episodes. <laughs> so, um, yeah, merch coming soon and all that good stuff. So, Thank you for your support. I appreciate you guys. And um, yeah, I'll see y'all on the next one. Peace. <laughs>